I'm Ruth. And I'm Brenton. Welcome to the weekend edition of Spectrum. Always good to be able to share with you. Well, today we've got two great interviews and mm -hmm. we're going to be uh, talking to different folks that maybe, hopefully, you did catch up on. But if you didn't, today's the day to really catch up on some wonderful information that will bless you. How's your week been? It's been great. So, guys, what we try to do on Thursday over the weekend is to highlight guests that we had prior. So that's what we're doing. You're going to enjoy it. Stay tuned for these two great interviews. to have with us back today Dr. Fume Atchison, who is the founder and leader of the Family Centered Prayer Bible Ministry. Battle, Battle. Battle, Battle Ministry. Battle yes. Ministry. Let's get it right, right from the beginning. <laughs> yes. Thank yes. you for sharing with us today. We're glad you're back. It's been a little while. I know. Thank you for inviting me back and having me today. I'm yes. excited the for the upcoming events we are going to have. Yes. Well, it's always wonderful to learn and to remind people a little bit about yourself and about the ministry, because some of the friends today may not have seen you the last time you were here. So tell us a little bit about yourself today and, uh, and how, you're, how you got involved in ministry and where the ministry has grown over the last several years. Thank you very much for your question. Uh, my name is Dr. Ifi Atchison. Uh, the doctor come from I'm a FAMD, and right now I just graduated from uh, with master's in public health concentration in nutrition from Liberty University. It's a Christian university, mm -hmm. so I thank God for that. Amen. And believe Praise it or God. not, by the grace of God, I will have opportunity to present and make my case about hydration to the uh, New Mexico aging population. It will be coming second week in August in uh, out there in uh, Sandia Casino. So, my project right now that I'm working on, <laughs> apart from my ministry, is mm -hmm. the hydration literacy education because we really yeah. need to hydrate and hydrate and hydrate. So, yes. back to the ministry yes. and how I come to this place is this. Um, this ministry started way back in my house and um, it actually started with three women. Uh, after I lost my brother in a motor accident with the wife, I was like broken to pieces. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what to do but to call on to my Lord. So we started that ministry in my house. At the time, we moved from my house and um, we went to a um, community center where we hold it every Friday and we pray. And the main purpose of this ministry is to pray the word of God back Amen. to him. Because mm -hmm. we know that when Jesus... Answer the enemy. All he said is, it's written. He doesn't yes. even have to sweat it. All he said that it is yes. written. And when you pray the word of God back to God, mm -hmm. the enemy has nothing to accuse you of because you are praying the word of God. Amen. So that is what we are doing. And, um, um, and we have grown over the years and God has answered our prayers. And uh, we actually stay at, um, we always stay at um, 7221 Camel Road. Not East Albuquerque, 87113. Okay, wonderful. Well, you have a seminar coming up, I yes, believe, in July. Tell us about that. Okay. It's coming up quickly. Yeah, the seminar is actually at the end of the week. Um, it is um, July the 27th, which is Saturday, and which is very good because this is a quick reminder. If you have not made up your mind to come, please, I'm asking you, come. We are going to hear a lot. The topic of our seminar is to be an overcomer. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a perilous time. And uh, mm -hmm. being an overcomer, you might wonder, why do we want to know about being an overcomer? As I said, it's a perilous time. Mm -hmm. And we want to learn everything about how we are going to be an overcomer. So yeah. I invite you and your friends and your family to come. So mm -hmm. talk, doctor, talk to us just a little bit. I mean, there's a lot of topics that you could have chosen to have the seminar on. I mean, I'm sure there's a, there's a range of things dealing in the area of prayer. What was it that made you say, we want to talk about being an overcomer? Because I think that that's an interesting thought. Okay, um, being an overcomer, as I said, uh, this is a perilous time. Mm -hmm. And the perilous time is the time full of danger. The time, risky time and hazardous time. And when we look at this time and what is happening every day, I won't even go there. But what I will say is if you really, really want to be depressed, turn on your TV <laughs> very That's quickly. True. That's a turn true on your TV. So I want um, 
I want us to look at, just allow me to indulge in reading some Bible verses. Oh, Absolutely. Sure. Because Share the key of what we do is reading the Bible. Yeah. So I want us to indulge in reading 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. And we'll see why. He said, but mark this. What are we going to mark? The perilous time. What is happening? He said, there will be terrible times in the last days. Are we having terrible times? Yes. I think you When you find out the answer, let me know. <laughs> Verse 2. People will be lovers of themselves, mm -hmm. lovers of money, mm -hmm. boastful, yes. proud, yes. abusive, disobedient to their parents. Do we have disobedient kids? Oh, yes. When you find out, you let me know. Yeah. Ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, mm. slanderous, without self-control. Mm. We remember that self-control mm -hmm. is one of the fruits of the spirit. Mm. So at this time, there is no self-control. Yeah. Everybody does what is right in their eyes. And honey, guess what? It's okay, do it. But not really exactly what the Bible say. Mm. And they continue to say, there will be brut brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure, rather than lovers of God. Mm -hmm. Have, having a form of godliness, but denying its power. How mm. do you feel about it? Mm. Having a, false, a, a, a form, form of godliness. godliness, but denying its power. Hallelujah, amen. Is that hallelujah actually from your heart? Mm. That is the point. Or are you a Sunday, Sunday medicine? What I call a Sunday, Sunday medicine is a Christian that don't behave like the Bereans. They don't go back to check anything. It's just what they hear in the oh. pulpit. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, what I owe my pastor, and I say it every time, is to pray for my pastor and mm -hmm. cover him. Because he's the target. Remember, he's still, mm -hmm. he's still a human being. So mm -hmm. that's what we owe them. We are not there to just yes. go, yes. look at them, find out what the wife is wearing and how the hairstyle is this mm -hmm. or this and that. Mm -hmm. Those are, we are living in, still living in flesh. It's yeah. none of our business. That's all we owe them. But then we pray for them so that they didn't fall because they are the target. So don't go and be looking at, okay, what do you yeah. think about the preaching this Sunday? Right. Do you know? No, if you have anything, go back to your pastor, make appointment, talk okay. with him. I believe sincerely that they will listen to you. It's mm -hmm. not time to go and start putting anybody down. If you are a child of God, be a child of God. Amen. Whatever you say you be, be it. Mm -hmm. Let us see it. And he said, what did the Bible say about all these things? He said, have, have nothing to do with them. Mm -hmm. So we are being told today to have nothing to be with them. This is perilous time and it's time for us to come together and know, one, who is an overcomer? Mm -hmm. Two, how do we become one? Yeah. Three, how do we maintain it if we become an overcomer? And three, the Bible said a lot of things about the prize you will get at the end of the day Amen. if you become an overcomer. Amen. 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 Please come and uh, join us in this seminar. It's very important that you come so that this race, we will run this race together and yes. we'll win and we'll get yes. the prize together. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's good. good. That's good. Is that going to be an all day event? It's not going to be all day event. Thank you so much, man, yeah. for asking. We are going to start from 11 a.m. and end like 1.30. We oh, are okay. just want people to yes. sleep in and uh -huh. come in during lunch and we just oh, have gosh. the lunch together on the Word of God. Okay. First and there God. will be a slight um, snacks. Oh, okay. Yes. Wonderful. So give the uh, directions again. This is on Carm uh, Carmel and that's uh, basically right off of the Paseo area, Paseo in Wyoming. Yes, sir. Uh, and if you know where the Domingo Baca, North Domingo Baca Park is, it's kind of adjacent to that area. Yes. Kind of a, a, a nice area, beautiful uh, community center there. And you'll be in one of the rooms that they have set aside for you. Yes. Okay. Actually, we are going to be in room six. All right. Six. So that's coming up this coming Saturday, July the 27th. That is really just a few days away. If somebody's watching today and they say, you know, th this really sounds interesting. I mm -hmm. I'd like to know more. How can folks get in touch with you? And then maybe you could, yeah, do you have to register to come? How do, how do people know? How do you, how do you know who's coming? Um, actually, the God has been so gracious because uh, what you receive freely, you give freely. 
and uh, you remember how a party was thrown and people were invited to come and everybody just got their bag of excuse. I got a wife, I have a land, I have this, I have that. And the end of the day, that party that was meant for people that you have in mind, they never showed up. Yeah. The people that showed up is the people that wasn't actually invited. So God will make a way and people will come and God has always surprised us. So you don't yeah. have to register. <laughs> we believe that the Holy Spirit will get you there. Yeah. And most of the time, believe it or not, it's not even the people that you are invited that mm -hmm. fill the place, but all and most of the time the place is filled. We don't have Praise a share God. left. So we want you to come. Be among those that will enjoy it. If you are invited, this is a reminder. Please come and enjoy the word of God yes. and know how to maintain if you are an overcomer. And if you feel that you are being swallowed up by problem, mm. come. I still have a God that works because Amen. my God has always works. He's on time. So come, we will find out how to be an overcomer, maintain it, and win that prize because Amen. it's important. Thank Amen. you. Dr. Ify is talking to us about the Family Centered Prayer bat Battle Ministry, and that has their meeting this coming Saturday, July the 27th. Make sure to find out more information from the screen, and hopefully you can attend. Certainly appreciate each and every one of you who are a part of Alpha Omega Broadcasting. And you know, you are a part if you are a faithful supporter. We have so many wonderful friends who, who support mm -hmm. Alpha Omega Broadcasting with their monthly donations to the President's Club. 50, 75, 100 dollars helping us with maintenance of equipment, with upgrades, and of course operational expenses. And then those of you who participate with the $32 a month for the family safe haven for the family programming that we air on the weekday and Saturday afternoons. Right, we do. Be sure and visit us online. We've talked about that before, um, kazq32.org. You can give safely there. You can set it up as a recurring um, donation. Pick your day of the month to do that. You can also call into the station, 505-884-8355, extension 101. Speak to someone, and we can also set that up recurring for you as well. If you'd like to send in a check or money order, your prayer requests, you can do that to 4501 Montgomery Boulevard, Northeast Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87109. We do appreciate all those that come in. There are many of you that we pray over, I pray over because I process those payments and many of you that call in and kind of know who you are just by your voice. It is, a, it is a, a privilege to be able to know you and to know that your support makes a difference. You know, we have our upcoming golf tournament coming mm -hmm. on August the 31st. Mm -hmm. And if you would like to register to play in that golf tournament, um, the proceeds from that tournament go to help us here at Alpha Omega Broadcasting, just in a lot of the things that we've already talked about. We would certainly appreciate you doing that. Go to the website at www.kazq32.org and uh, get the form, fill it out, and send in uh, your payment that way so you can be registered. It will include your green fees. It includes lunch. It includes a card. It includes the opportunity of having range balls, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of great fellowship, and uh, you get an opportunity to meet some of the staff and folks here at Alpha Omega Broadcasting. Remember that's coming up at Los Altos Golf, Golf Course on the 31st of August. have with us today Jeanette Otero who is with the City of Albuquerque's Health and Social Services Centers. Jeanette, thanks for coming to share with us today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. We're looking forward to learning a little bit. This is something new. I've, I've talked to a lot of folks from the City of Albuquerque over time, but I don't think I've talked to anyone involved exactly with what you do. So tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with the Health and Social Services Centers. Okay. So, um, 
my history with working with social services has kind of been ongoing from the time I was in high school through now. Um, this was a division I really wanted to be a part of. Um, I kind of applied quite a bit um, until I was able to, to get an interview and fortunately I was able to join the wonderful team with health and social services with the city. Um, we do quite a few different services with um, this division that people quite aren't aware of. Well, tell us a little bit about them. So we actually do um, direct services to the public. Um, some of the services that we provide at our four centers are going to be eviction prevention, utility assistance. We um, also help with the emergency food boxes. We um, provide those five days a week to the public. All you have to do is come on in and let us know, hey, this is what I need. Mm -hmm. We um, have two centers that actually provide a direct service of a clothing bank, so we're able to wow. do that as well. Now, you mentioned that there were four. I caught that, four centers. Where yes. are they located? So we have the Alamosa Health and Social Service Center that is located on the west side of Albuquerque. Okay. It's off of Coors and Gonzales. We have our North Valley Center that's located at 25, sorry, 1231 Candelaria. It's right. right off of 12th and Candelaria. Great. We have our East Central District that is list, uh, that's um, right off of San Pablo Road in Zuni. Okay. And then we have the center that I run, which is um, the John Marshall Center, and we are located off of Avenida de Cesar Chavez and Broadway. So all over the all over the community, all over the city, and and you have some very unique services that kind of caught my attention. You know, as a working as a pastor, you sometimes have people drop by in and say, you know, I need help with, and the and the need is often very varied, but some of the things that are prominent are rental assistance mm -hmm. or food, and I did not know that the city of Albuquerque provided that sort of assistance. And that's good to know. So that, that's interesting. Do you find that a lot of people are not aware of the services that are out there? We do. We have a lot of people that um, when they do come into our, our centers, a lot of times the first statement that they make to us is they did not realize that we were part of the city of Albuquerque and that okay. we provided those services. So it's always really neat to see a new client come in and to be able to provide them with additional services, not only our services, but the services that our facilities provide as well. well let's talk a little bit about that. You know, you're at the John Marshall uh center, correct? Yes, sir. So give us a, just kind of a taste. What are some of the services that are provided there? You, you have partnerships with the community. How does, that, how does that work out? Yes, sir. So we have a number. Each of our centers are very unique. They offer very different services. Oh, so they're not the same? They are not the same. They don't have all the same services, but we try to have an array of services at each center okay. that do wraparound services for the community. Um, at my particular center, we have Cuidando Los Niños that resides on our property. They provide services to families experiencing homelessness with small children. Mm -hmm. We have UNM Hospital that has a clinic in our facility. We have a new agency that just moved in with us called Albuquerque Adult Learning Center. They provide GED um, services, okay. so prep for GED, um, people that are going in further uh, to, to get their GED. Yeah. We also have Albuquerque um, Fire and Rescue who have their heart program there. And we have United South Broadway that provides, um, provides assistance to families going through foreclosure or getting to that point where they may possibly be filing for foreclosure. Okay, so you, you really do have a lot of community services that attach, that are, that are right there. And so it's almost like a one-stop shop, so to speak, right? You can yes, kind of sir. run into a lot of the things that you might have need of, or maybe you know somebody who's, some of these things that really sound like they would be pertinent, uh, that'd be good. Well, who is really eligible for some of these services? I mean, can anybody drop by who's a, a person who's living in Albuquerque, you know, or is, it, is there a, a wage qualification or earnings qualification that helps? For our eviction prevention, there is, we do go by the HUD um, guidelines as to income qualifications. For our other services, all we ask is they bring in the proper documentation, proof of address, valid ID, and we can get them set up for the services that they're requesting. A lot of times if we do find that we're not able to provide a direct service to a client for whatever reason, where they live, areas, we will get them to the correct center. 
we will give them additional support, we'll give them additional resources to be able to meet their needs. So if we're not able to, they won't leave empty handed. They will leave with some type of information or direction as to do, how they can get do assistance. Do any of these uh, programs that you provide, are, the, are they repetitive? So like month to month, I mean, can people pick up food boxes more than one time or is it one and done? How does that work? So with our eviction prevention, it is our eviction prevention and utility assistance. It's a once in a lifetime program. Um, so that one does have a cap on it. Our food pantry, however, is a little different. It is a month by month basis. So okay. um, what we tell our clients is after 30 days, if they're still in need of a food box or they need a little more support, they're more than welcome to come back for another food box. So every 30 days for our food box pro uh, program. Well, I understand that John Marshall Center is going to be having something uh, coming up here in August. It's a special event. Tell us a little bit about your special event. Yes, sir. So this is the first one for this um, particular center. We're going to be doing the South Broadway Health and Social Service Fair. Okay. We will be giving out backpacks. We're asking that families come in and register for our services, for social services. It's considered a seasonal service for our program. So we will be able to give out backpacks to families that are in need. Are these backpacks for back to school? Yes, sir, they are. Okay. So they'll be filled with um, school supplies. It won't have everything, but it'll have a good amount of, of school supplies as well as a backpack to kind of get families a little a little more of a head of game so that they can go in sure. and get the, the last few items that they might need. Wonderful. And what time is this? It's going to be on a Friday? It's going to be this Friday. Or sorry, it's going to be August 9th, Friday. It's going to be from Coming 10 up. to 2 p.m. And we'll have a number of agencies that are going to be coming in and joining us to provide either direct services or information to um, the community. All right. So that comes up, friends, on the uh, 9th of August, and that's just a, a short distance away. And remember, that's from 10, 10 a.m. to 2. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So yes, make sure to, to remember some of those things. Um, if someone's wanting to reach out to you, is it best to just drop in, call up? How do they really connect? So the majority of our um, of our clients will actually give us a call. That's probably the best way, okay. um, just so we can get them to the closest center to them. And they're not. We get a lot of clients that'll come in and they'll ask for food box. And if I have a client that's calling that's closer to another center, I'd rather them not waste their gas and come to my center. So we we ask Makes that you sense. call. If they do drop in, they drop in, and we assist them as they come in. So. Well, how many f people do you see on an average week or month? Do you have any idea? I mean, how many families would actually come through one of your locations or, or through all four locations? Just any guesstimate? Is it in the hundreds, the dozens? Between all four of our centers, we, we see hundreds between okay. the, the four centers monthly. All right. So, um, so it's, an, it's, it's an ongoing need. That points to the fact is, that it's yes. an ongoing need. And, uh, and, and that's good. You know, it's always good to fill a need. And when the, that's one of the things I think that it's very important for us is to see our, our government involved with, city government or any uh, other type of government uh, group, is to be able to fulfill a need that is really relevant and, and pertains to the city. Give us a, a little bit more of the detail about your specific center's location since you have this special event. Give us the address again. So it's going to be 1500 Walter Street, Southeast. Okay. Um, Is that Southeast Heights, sort of? No, sir. It's right off of I-40, and um, it's in between I-40 and Broadway and Avenida Cesar Chavez. All right. All right. So that that would be location-wise. Make sure to, to look for that and uh, to find out. And give us uh, hours of operation on a normal day. When are you there? Are you there weekends? Are you only there weekdays? What's the availability? So as of right now, we do Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. Um, we have been running a, a program that's going to be doing weekend services for a short pilot program, and our last weekend is going to be this coming up August. And I, I would have to check the exact date for the the next Saturday service. But on an ongoing basis, basically Monday. eight to five, Monday through Friday. Yes, sir. And uh, you can give them a, a call. I believe the phone number is there on the screen. And we're so pleased today to be able to, to share some of the great resources that the city of Albuquerque is providing. Of course, Jeanette Otero is working in these areas. And she specifically, you might even get to see her in person at the John Marshall Center as she's able to help out there. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.
hope you enjoyed some of those interviews, kind of catch up on some things that are taking place in our community. We uh, want to invite you to join with us at Evangel Christian Center this weekend, where Ruth and I are the lead pastors. You know, we have some wonderful things coming up on Friday nights as a part of our Friday Night mm-hmm. Life over the course of the month of August. So we're going to kick off with a praise and testimony night. That's always good. You know, those are, those are things that we used to do a lot of, taking time to remember the goodness of God yeah. and a testifying of God's faithfulness. That'll be this Friday night. Other things that we have coming up include a night where we're going to be highlighting our children's ministry. Mm-hmm. That's so coming up. That's going to be exciting. We have a group of people, young people right now at a National Fine Arts uh, competition in Orlando, Florida. Right. They're going. We're going to have a, a kind of a night where we uh, re, revisit some of the wonderful things they've done. Highlight those, the teens. Yes, a That's praise good. and prayer night. And then we're going to end the month on the, I think it's the 31st. I think Friday is the 31st, if memory serves me where we are going to actually uh, have an outdoor service. Oh, those are uh, fun. A service at the park. Mm-hmm. And uh, that, that'll be a, a lot of fun. So those are some of the things that are coming up uh, in the next few days as we uh, begin to think about all the, the good, good things that are coming. Now, we do have multiple services throughout the week. We talk about Sundays. We have a 9 o'clock service and a 1045. You've highlighted Friday night services coming up. Mm-hmm. We also have midweek service on Wednesday night that begins at 7 o'clock. Prior to that, we do have women's Bible study right now going on, and we're about halfway through that study, and we will begin another one soon, and we will have details for you about that. If you're looking for a study, if you're looking for a church home, we'd be so honored to have you with us here at Evangel, and um, just come up and meet us. A lot of people do that. We're not we're not hiding away somewhere. We're usually in the foyer walking around, mingling, talking to visitors and our members, just loving on one another. And so we'd be honored to have you at any one of those services. Well, come and see us. We would, we would love to have you as a part of things and uh, join us on a Wednesday night for Bible studies, mm-hmm. as you mentioned, and, and then a great time of, uh, of uh, teaching and preaching and worship. Join us on a Friday night, Friday Night Live for those two Sunday morning services, 9 and 1045. Evangel Christian Center is a growing congregation, and we would certainly love to have you be a part. Until next time, you have a wonderful week in the Lord Jesus Christ. Bye-bye.